What is up you guys, Competent Gamer here bringing you back another video. This is episode 5 of my LSPDFR installation tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install EUP into your LSPDFR so you can have uh, a wide array of uniform options for your LSPDFR character. Now, a quick little disclaimer before we get into this. I don't have anything to do with these mods. I didn't create them. I didn't author them. I didn't have anything to do with the creation of these mods. I'm just a fellow LSPDFR player, LSPDFR content creator who wants to show the world how to do this right. Because I, you know, I spend a lot of times on LSPDFR support forums and support discords, and I see a lot of users are having a lot of trouble uh, getting EUP to work in their game and it, it really it really shouldn't be like that because installing EUP is one of the easiest things to do in LSPDFR. So with all that out of the way let's just you know let's just get uh, get started. As always links to these mods will be found in the description box below but today we're gonna be installing EUP menu by Pi R Good and this is the one part here that I think most users forget and wh what leads to a lot of crashes and a lot of just EUP not working properly is that you have to install EUP menu, but you also need EUP law and order. EUP doesn't work on its own. You need the supplementary uh, uniform packs. You need law and order. And if you really want to, you can also install Servant and rescue, but you need law and order. So that's one thing that you need to keep in, uh, keep in mind. So as always with mods on lspdfr.com in order to download them, you're just gonna come over here to this blue download this file button, click on that agree to the terms and just let the download start then once that once that starts downloading we're also going to be installing law and order we're going to click here on this blue download this file button and we're going to be if you're using Lenny's mod loader you can go ahead and use that one I'm not using Lenny's mod loader I'm going to be using I'm going to be doing this completely manually so I'm going to be downloading this raw file here so I'm going to click on this blue download button let that download start. And while that's downloading, I'm also going to down, start downloading Serve and Rescue, which is just another uniform pack that, in, that focuses primarily on firefighters and medics. Again, click on this blue download file. And again, if you're using Lenny's Mod Loader, you're going to be installing this one, but I'm doing it manually, so I'm going to be downloading this one. And once you have all those files completely downloaded, go ahead and put those to your desktop. You can have them, you can have easy access, and I'll show you what to do with those in just a second. All right, everyone, now that we have our mods here on our desktop, we're going to start here with EUP menu. So let's go ahead and open that up. And we got two files here, one called documentation and the other one called file. So let's open up documentation. This one just has a change log here, which just says what just, you know, says whatever has changed, what changes have been made to the mod since the last update. And a readme.txt just tells us where we're going to, you know, what the requirements are, where we're going to put these things. So you can go ahead and read that on your own time. But if you're, if you're watching this video, we'll go, you can just follow along with me. So we're going to open up this files folder here. And here, this stuff here is going to go into our main directory for GTA 5. So I got a shortcut here for the main directory. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Just drag this up here, open that. And we're going to drag Rage Native UI into here. Then, just follow along with me, we're going to click on plugins, and then plugins in our main directory, and then we're just going to drag the EUP menu.dll into our plugins folder. And that's it. The menu has been installed. Now, we have the menu, we got uh, Rage Native UI into it. Now we just need to start putting in our uniform packs. So, we're going to start here with Law and Order. I'm going to go ahead and open that one. Again, there's a readme text, you can read that on your own time. But, we're just going to do the exact same thing. Open up the plugins folder, go to EUP, which we don't have here in our plugins folder. So that just means we're going to drag this folder into our plugins folder. So now we have EUP folder in our plugins folder, just as it was stated here in the plugins folder. And then both law, uh, both law and order and the serve and rescue uniform packs come with the .oiv files. And this is how you install the uniforms into the game. However, these cannot be loaded um, by OpenIV because these are .oiv files, .openiv files. These cannot be loaded while they're in the RAR file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this out of here, put it there, and then we're going to close out of here. And we're going to open OpenIV for GTA 5 on the Windows. Let that start up. And now that we're here, we're just going to move this over here. We're going to click on Tools and Package Installer. 
and we're going to click right here on the EUP Law and Order 8.2.OIV. Just going to click on that and then click open. And this is going to be showing you that the package will be automatically installed into the game. So we're just going to click on install. And remember, we always install mods into the mods folder. We never install mods into the game folder. So click on mods folder, confirm the installation, and just let it do its thing. All right, now that the installation is successful, we're gonna close out of here. We're gonna just move this to the side. We're gonna get rid of the lawandorder.oiv file since we already have it. We know we still have it in this RAR file, it's still there. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing and we're gonna install serve and rescue. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this RAR file. And again, there's a readme text, don't need to read it, that's why the video's here. And we're just gonna, there's no plugins folder or anything, so all we're gonna do is just gonna drag and drop this .oiv file into our desktop and then run it through OpenIV. So let's just put it out here, close out of that, open package installer, and then we're gonna click on serve and rescue 1.4.oiv, click on open, click on install, remember mods folder, and we're gonna confirm the installation and just let it run its thing. All right, and with that successfully installed, we should have EUP menu installed with Law and & Order and Serve and & Rescue. So let's just go ahead and close out of OpenIV, go ahead and close out of our main directory. We can just erase this uh, .oiv file for Serve and & Rescue. And let's just go ahead and open up LSPDFR and see if this is actually working properly. All right, welcome back everybody. Now that we're here in game, let's go ahead and test to see if EUP is working. So by default, uh, EUP is opened with F11. I don't think there's a, an INI file that you can use to change that. So I think it's, it'll always be F11. So let's go ahead and just click that right here. Now, if you don't have an LSP, uh, an LSPDFR character made by this point, you'll just get some generic dude with plain clothes. But here in this mod, you can see that we have installed, we have uh, Law and Order and Serve and Rescue installed. So we have the options to, of either using uh, preset outfits to customize our guy or we can also do if we go back a little bit and go into the wardrobe we can create an outfit and start editing little pieces of the uniform so that we can create so we can customize our character as much as we want we can make our guide look as professional or as unprofessional as possible but really that's all up to you know your discretion um, we only have at the moment we only have uh, EUP law and order and serve and rescue uniforms at our disposal but we can also add additional uniform packs such as the vest and earpiece pack which I'll be doing a tutorial on next week and once we have you know just just, just to have you know more customization options but once we have a uniform that we really really like we have the option here of creating a name for it and then if we scroll all the way down here we can save and continue uh, we can save the outfit and then that'll always be there in this wardrobe list for us to use that way when we load up LSP to the next time we don't have to make our uniform again we just have it right there sitting waiting for us now the beauty of EUP also is that it has a lot of functionality and, and it has a lot of communication with a lot of different mods such as Bejo uh, Bejo, Bejo Ejo's uh, ultimate backup what I mean by that is that we can create uh, our uniforms in EUP and then use the same ID numbers to make it so that our backup that comes from Ultimate Backup uses the exact same outfit that we could be wearing or something else that we've created. And I'll show you how to do that when I cover uh, when I cover Ultimate Backup. But with all that out of the way, guys, if you that that is pretty much it. You should have EUP and you know Law and Order Server Rescue installed. If you like the video go ahead and drop a like let me know if you have anything if you have any questions drop some comments down below if anything in this video was confusing however EUP is pretty straightforward but if you're running into any issues you know something's not working properly just go ahead drop a comment down below let me know what's going on I'll get back to you as soon as I can go ahead subscribe if you're new and if you really want to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content like I said the next video that I'll be covering is how to install the EUP vest and earpiece uh, pack so you know look forward to that one and now I'm gonna try to uh, pre-record these installation tutorial videos that way we can get uh, get back to the actual LSPDFR patrol series uh, sooner rather than later
So, you know, uh, again, stay tuned for that. So, with all that out of the way, drop a like if you like the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Competent Gamer. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.